Hello everyone, welcome back to PJ Chain Design channel. I have the questions from the YouTube subscriber Isaac uh, asking about the technique how to do this braiding design here and rope looking uh, design over here. So today we are going to go over with this technique. Are you ready? Let's get started. There are three parts in this ring. First is the ring itself. The second one is the uh, rope looking uh, design over there. The third one is the braided design over here. So we are going to talk about those three parts separately. Let's starting with the ring. We're going to use the circle, set it up the radius for eight or diameter for 16. And then we're gonna come into the right view want to draw a profile here. I always like the cushion looking thing so let's use the conic corner and then you can do any size of the ring that you like. It's going to be really wide over here and we're going to move in a little bit so it giving a little bit more like a comfort fit. Then let's move the center back to the center over here. The second we need to decide how deep it's going to cut it into. Let's draw a rectangle here with the center and this is going to showing like how deep you are going to cut into it. And again, uh, there's no specific dimension. It's just about, about, it is just about your design. Then we are going to use a trim tool to trim off anything in between. Make sure you give a little bit of fillet here so the ring rendering will look very nice. Where on the bottom, you don't have to worry about it. Okay, so this is the um, curve that we have that's joined it and that's making a ring by using the sweep one. And this is the uh, rail, this is the cross section. Then we get a ring like this. Let's take a look on the perspective. Now we have this on the perspective and we only need to use the one to flow is the surface right there in the center. So let me extract the surface and we're gonna extract the one over here. Let me turn it into the red color. So we have something here to uh, create a UV curve. The command we're gonna use, create UV curve and then we pick up this red one. And this is the area we are going to design. So let's take a look on the top view. This is the area we are going to design and we need to separate them into three sections. So I kind of need to know how big they are first. So let's say we have 5.94 millimeter. Let's say I'm going to have the area in the center for three and a half millimeter by three and a half millimeter. And this is the area for the uh, braided design. So I'm going to align this with the horizontal center. And the rest of the space is for the rope looking design. So let's come over here. Let's do the rope first. All right, to make our rope look really nice, we need to know the dimension over here. This one is 1.22. So I like to create a rectangle here. This is 1.22 by 1.22. All right, so we are going to work within here. Let's go ahead to draw a diagonal line right here. And so half of a rope should fit it into right here. We are going to draw a reference here roughly about 0.4 millimeter. And I want to snap it into this edge here and doing the same 0.4 millimeter and snapping right here. What I do here is because uh, we need to have a two symmetrical side. So let's go ahead to use that as our first point. And you kind of want to draw a curve of your own design, but you will need to snapping in those two ends. And you can edit those uh, to be to fit your design better, but pretty much uh, this is the first curve and then we will have this one and using the rotate tool snapping into this midpoint and we want to rotate it 180 degree then they were snapping into right point they should snapping into right point let's double check oh it's not there um, just need to make sure they move it back to the end point so you won't have the problem when you try to create in the surface uh, this one does meet. All right, so then we will need to create the cross section. I'm going to have the oval uh, or ellipse tool and I want to do something like this and coming over to the right view 
and we don't need it super high we probably need it just uh, less than 0.5 millimeter so roughly like that so half of this oval is less than 0.5 millimeter for the thickness let's use the commands called sweep 2 rail this is rail 1 rail 2 make sure you want to starting with the point and then go into the cross section and end up with the point one more time and then you will get a solid let's double make sure this is a closed surface now we have one element right here let's do a test and see how it goes let's make a duplication of this one we are going to use the linear array and i don't know how many of them that i need i'm just gonna guessing 100 and we're gonna go from here to anywhere but make sure you stay with the line so they will be aligned perfectly okay you can get it tighter you can get it looser it's up to your design okay so i'm gonna get something similar like this and take a look if this is enough for you and it's more than enough so i'm just gonna delete some of them right there um, we are going to float this back to the surface, right? So if you have an empty space right here, then you probably won't flow correctly. So what I like to do first is I actually want to bowling all the foam that's using the bowling union. Okay, so once they are bowling, I'm going to move with this as my guideline and move it to the edge right there okay so you're gonna notice like everything will moving a little bit if this one is right the age right here then once you flow it back it will be perfectly mixed right so we're gonna do a little bit change here we're gonna use the trim command that's using this big frame and trim off the one over here so now on the other side we need to make sure it's perfect align over there so what we're gonna do is we're going to use the straight line and snapping it to the end point right here draw a straight line down and using this line to trim over here okay so now with that little extra this is my little trick over here let's go ahead to use the scale 1d we're gonna snapping into this point right here and then the first reference point that's snapping into the end point right here okay holding your shift and bring it back to this edge so when they flow it back they will be 100 percent contact so now we have this on one side we just need to mirror to the other side so using the middle as a center and then we have that done next video i'm going to show you how to do the middle part and then we will flow the whole thing back to the ring don't forget to like and comment and share my video so i can reach more people thank you for watching i'll see you next